Hello YouTube! Welcome back to my channel. It's another day on the road. I just got done filming a Q&A, so if you have not watched it, go check it out. We're gonna work out. Workout, check. I'm gonna go fill up some water and then let it sit in the sun for a little bit so I can shower with it. So I'm gonna show you guys how I shower and show you how we filter our water. So let's go. I have these bags by Sawyer. I'm gonna fill these up first. So now that I have all my water filled up, I will leave these in the sun to warm up and then it will be time to shower. Okay, so now these bags have been sitting in the sun for a couple of hours. The sun has gone behind the mountain so these aren't going to get any warmer. Now I take this warm water, I put it into my Nemo Helio shower and then I have running water that I can use this little spigot for once it's all filled up and pressurized and I can just oh, and I can just shower myself. So I'm not actually going to show you <laughs> how I shower, but you catch the drift. I either go inside the shower in the trailer or I find a private spot in the woods and do my thing. So that is my secret to taking an awesome shower in the wilderness, in a trailer, in a van, wherever you are. You don't even have to be living in a trailer. You could do this at your house. You could do this wherever. <laughs> ah, I am so clean. Although my hair looks crazy because I haven't washed, or washed, I just washed it because I did not brush it. I just washed it and I'm gonna let it dry and then I'll brush it. But tips that I have for showering with the Nemo. Do not use a lot of shampoo or body wash or face wash or anything because the more that you use, the more suds that you have and the more water that you need to then rinse it all off. So I find that you, you end up using only what you need. So you'll save some money on those beauty products and you'll also save some water, which is great. Are you peeing? Oh. <laughs> Wait, doesn't it look like he's peeing? Next tip. When you are washing your hair, this is like my trick for washing my hair, I flip over like this, and then I literally get my hair all wet, shampoo it like this, and then rinse it again like this, and then like drain it all out, throw a towel over top, and then come up with a towel on my head. That's my favorite way to wash my hair because the water is never gonna be as warm as you want it. So doing like this kind of thing with the cold water running down you is not my favorite. So that's my, my pro tip, for real pro tip, on washing your hair. Any other tips on showering? Don't. <laughs> also, if you don't have a lot of water, I like to wet a washcloth, get it all sudsy, suds up my body, and then rinse it. And I don't know, I feel like doing all of that one process is good. Now, we have a fire going. There are no fire restrictions going on right now, luckily. Sometimes there are in the summer. But we're gonna cook some dinner over the fire, and we're drinking a bottle of wine tonight to celebrate 
our one month anniversary of living on the road. Yeah. Hey Moose! Oh. Told you. She's got an ear tag. Yeah. Damn. Oh my god. She's right there. He's right there. I was right here. Here he comes. Yeah, I'm in the back row. Moose are probably the game species, other than grizzly bear, that I am most afraid, afraid of. And it's because they don't scare like other game animals do. Like wolves, black bear, coyotes, deer, elk, every other game animal runs when they see you, when they smell you, but moose don't and they have really poor vision. So arguably, if you just stand there, you know, you're probably not gonna have any trouble, but if you start moving around and they get curious and they wanna come in. The other thing is like where they live, they live in such thick willows that if you're fishing or if you were like me, just trying to get some water, like they just pop up out of nowhere. That bull moose popped up at 20 yards. Ooh, I hear him again. Oh, I just hope he doesn't like run up. I can still hear him like fussing around back there. But they just pop up. He was like 20 yards from me. And I was like, ooh. I like stopped for a second, and then just grabbed my stuff and like ran right up the hill. That was cool. What do you think of the moose? It's cool. It is cool. And then Nick spotted the lady moose. Yeah, he did when he was fishing. He was fly fishing and there was a female moose. Correct me if I'm wrong. There was a female. Just following me around. And then she kind of mm -hmm. put her ears back and started coming at me pretty aggressively. So I had to take off. They're beautiful, and I love them, but I am scared of them. The one that I saw the other day, she pinned her ears straight back and put her head down and was kind of like walking a little funny and like getting yeah. sideways and like posturing up. Yeah. Into the couch. Yeah. Babies are a recipe for aggressive. Da, da, da. I don't want them to fall off the plate, but I have two beautiful, I can't even talk, I'm so hungry. Two beautiful sirloin steaks that Nick got from Oregon or Washington? Washington, Oregon? 
This is the first time we've had meat like this in so long. It's been a month at least. So I'm very excited. And I have quinoa on the stove inside. So I'm gonna go get that and then we can sell. Happy one month anniversary! I much prefer the taste of beer, even meal beer. Honestly. Yeah, that's got good flavor. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's it so does. Good. No, it's definitely good. And like if I had some dipping sauce. The chewiness is just like real. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well <laughs> the census is sorry I have a list retainers. That the beef is not nearly as good as wild game. It's been a long time since we have had beef and I think both of us agreed that it was good tasting but like way fattier than what we're used to because we eat wild game all the time. It was nice to have some meat because we we haven't really had that treat and we don't have a wine opener or a, we don't have a cork What's it called? We don't have a wine bottle opener, so we couldn't open the wine, but we will tomorrow. But tonight was a little celebration. We had a fire. Happy one month anniversary. Time for bed.